Here we are looking for the green flag. Ricky Williger is in that number eight. Here we go, looking for the green flag. 20 laps will be the distance for our Canadian Vintage Modifies Championship night for them. Here we are, green, green, green. On the inside into the lead. Here comes the eight, Ricky Williger looking to the inside. The 14 of Scott Tonelli stuck to the high side. Here comes TJ Marshall up the inside. Tonelli stuck to that high groove as Marshall goes around. And here comes Mike Pod in the number five. Mike Pod's been driving that five car for over 30 years. Amazing little vehicle. It is a straight six. And so is the number one. The rest of them have the V8 conversion in them. So they are running a V8 crate motor. And there are two out here with the V6 program. Or the straight six program. Out front still the 43 of Shea Pepin. Just set a time of 16.649 on the second lap. He's awfully fast here in the one, wow, one day painting car. But on the back bumper is that number eight of Williger. Trying to find his way around the 15 of TJ Marshall sitting there in the catbird seat waiting to see what happens. That 15 car used to be Murray Descharmes' old car. And then it went up to the chicken farmer. And now he brought it back home and put her all together and has parked his other 15 car and given this one a shot. Oh, Williger gets a punt in the back by the 15 of Marshall. <coughs> Pepin slides back four spots, five spots. He's now running fifth. Scott Tonelli goes to six. Jessica James is holding on to that seventh spot. Ian McIntyre is in the number one running eighth. Out front still, Williger, Marshall, Pod, Murdoch, Pepin, Tonelli, James, McIntyre, Murdoch, Wolseley. Joey Wolseley, a third-generation racer, I believe, out of the Wolseley stable. All his uncles and father raced in the Canadian Vintage Modifieds. You might remember TJ Wolseley running a super late model back in the day. Seven laps in, 20 laps will be the distance. Ricky Williger still out front leading the charge with the 15 of TJ Marshall bouncing off the back bumper with the five. Of Mike Pod holding strong in third. The seven has been out of commission for a bit until they got her fixed, but looks like he's figured it out as he's running fourth. And that is Quinton Murdoch in that fourth position. But up front, Ricky Williger, that's that front knack, the number eight. <coughs> and the 15 is a Studebaker. A 32 or 33 Studebaker. The 5 is a Ford. You're amazing. TQ Midgets up here waiting for their heat races. I've got their information going on. 11 laps are down the books. Look at Williger starting to pull away from that number 15 of TJ Marshall. The 5. A pod still holding on to third. Fourth is starting to get a little bit closer. Quentin Murdoch starting to pull a little bit closer to the five of Mike Pod. And you got a gaggle of cars behind that. The 57 and the 43 and the 14. 57 is going to go down a lap. Whoa, he gets right into the racing groove. And Pepin slides back a spot. And that gives Scott Tonelli a chance to get that spot taken away with 13 laps in the books. Tonelli slides up to fifth. Pepin goes to six. Whoa, they split the number one. And there goes TJ Marshall to the lead on the high side. Ricky Williger slides back to second. Pod has to jump out of the gas as McIntyre now to the high side. As he goes down a lap, that gives Murdoch a chance to get a little bit closer to him. Quentin Murdoch still holding fourth, but they're right there. At any point, he could make that move with five laps to go. It'll be four to go this time by. Four to go for TJ Marshall in the number 15. With the eight of Williger now has the five of Mike Pod bouncing off the back bumper. It is championship night. Anything can happen. And here comes Murdoch. He's joining the fight for the top three. 
Three laps to go. It'll be two to go this time by for the number 15 of TJ Marshall. Marshall comes around three and four. He's going to get two to go. Two to go for TJ Marshall. Oh, pardon me. It's 25 laps. I thought it was 20. Oops. I don't have to leave. Yep. Yep. But out front still, TJ Marshall. He's got five laps to go this time by. Five laps to go. I got a little excited. I thought it was a 20-lap feature event where it is a 25-lap feature event for their championship night here. As Marshall will come around and get four to go. Oh, look at Williger. Williger and Pod. Pod and Williger. Williger's wiggling. Pod wants to stick it in there. Williger slides up. Pod looks to the inside. Here comes Quentin Murdoch. Murdoch's in the catbird seat there for sure. If that eight gets sideways, you never know what could happen. Williger, Pod, Murdoch. But out front still is that 15 of TJ Marshall with three to go. Marshall setting the pace here tonight. Is he just went a 16.325. That was his best time. Here in the Canadian Vintage Modified Young Drivers of Canada. If you want to know anything about the Canadian Vintage Modifieds, check them out online at CanadianVintageModifieds.ca. Young Drivers of Canada, Canadian Vintage Modifieds. White flag is going to be displayed for TJ Marshall. As he goes down into turn number three, or turn number two, down the back stretch one final time as Mike Pods trying to make that happen on the back stretch and see if he can get. No, he backs out of it. Williger still holding on. Here comes TJ Marshall. Feature win number one, 25 laps in the book. Marshall takes the first feature. Second will be the eight of Williger. And rounding out the top three in the number five is Mike Pod. We'll get down to victory lane to see the number 15 of T.J. Marshall. Get over here for our friend T.J. Marshall as he's unbuckling, climbing out of that hot rod, the Swears Fabrication. Or is it Swears Fabrication still? I think so. Swears Custom Painting. Swears Custom Painting Sponsor, Riverside Creative Edge. Beautifully prepared, number 15, TJ Marshall. We'll slide out here with the first victory here for us tonight in our Canadian Vintage Modifieds. Young Drivers of Canada, Sabaris Professional Services, also engineering. If you're looking to get something engineered, call Sabaris Professional Services Limited. Flambro Machine Shop on the side of this car. As he's climbing out, here he is. Give him a big round of applause to TJ Marshall for getting the first feature here with our young drivers of Canada, Canadian Vintage Modifieds. TJ, congratulations, bud. Haven't seen you all year, but it's nice to see you. How does it feel to be having a victory here tonight on championship night? Yeah, good to see you, Gary. Uh, always happy to see you here. Um, no, uh, it was good. Uh, other than me killing the wall off of two there, the one lap, trying to put pressure on the eight car. Uh, everything's good. Who do you want to thank for getting here to Victory Lane? Well, first I need to thank all the uh, Canadian Vintage Modified drivers. Um, not the field we wanted, but this was a core group. They've been here the majority of the year. Um, couldn't do it without them. Um, uh, young drivers, they've been their title sponsor for four years. Um, all our associate sponsors, uh, Jonathan Morrison, Jomo Media, he was the nightly sponsor. Um, he has a camera in my car. Hopefully it's on our uh, Facebook page at some point. So uh, go check that out. Um, other than that, a whole bunch of friends up in uh, turn three. Big shout out to them. Some uh, kids that are here for the first time. And then a uh, whole list of uh, sponsors. <laughs> Riverside Heating and Air, Spare uh, Engineering Group, uh, Squares Custom Painting, Creative Edge Signs and Graphics, uh, Engel Tree Services. Um, want to dedicate this to uh, Susan Ingold. Um, yeah, I think that's good. You're good, bud. Hey, give another big round of applause to TJ Marshall for getting the first victory here on their championship night.